morning, guys. I'm taking these little hooligans for a walk. We're gonna go. Oh, oh. They have colds now, which is not fun. Xander has a cold. Cadence is just starting to cough. And I think Jaden's kind of had a cough too, so that's fun. But um, I feel like I'm losing my voice. No, you stay close. Come here. <clears throat> we woke up, and usually we wake up to Daddy and Xander downstairs, but they were not downstairs this morning. And I found out that they're over at my mom's rental, so we're gonna go there now. Oh, a bunny! Little bunny right there. Hi, bunny rabbit. I did not end the vlog yesterday. I was not feeling the best. Um, I think I got too much sun and not enough water, and then I haven't been getting the most sleep. So I was so tired and uh, was not up for vlogging as the day was going on. So, but last night was funny because we got ice cream that was huge and it ended up melting super fast. So we had to eat it as fast as we could. Mine, mine and, didn't uh, melt that fast and I'm not that big of cold ice cream. No, not yours didn't melt that fast? No, That's good. What, Kiki? Not unless it, it's just a very little bit. Of he ran away. Where? Probably trying to go back home. But it is Friday and I don't know what we're doing today. Mom, we shall see. I, I, li I like just eat half of it. Yeah, half of what? The ice, ice cream? Yeah. yeah, you had a lot of ice cream, right? And ice. Whoa, careful. Unless it doesn't melt as fast, then I've still a lot of time to eat it. Yeah? Yeah, mostly it's better when you eat the edges off the cones and the cups first, so it doesn't like, fall apart. Yeah. You think I can make this jump? This jump? Yeah. You can try. Oh! So close. <laughs> so close. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Oh, almost. Still the same. I see somebody. Wait. Perfect timing because Kiki's got to go potty. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> got to go potty, Kikers. Okay, going, Kiks. Hi, mamas. Gentle. Mamas. Mm -hmm. My hand is stuck. Oh, my baby. Oh, it's my baby. Oh. Good morning. Pop cut his finger, so he got blood on the door, what? blood on another door, blood when? on his shirt. A crab got him. Oh, yesterday? Yeah. Good morning, Joey! Ouch! How are you doing, dude? I like this show. I know, I like this table a lot. What? Cool. Sarah, good morning, Sarah! What? Hello. Good morning! Oh, no, it's not. Where's Kika? Yeah, she, uh, she's here, but she's gotta go pee. It's over here. It's over here. It's over here. What is this? What's this? What's this? There's something in the air. 
Yeah. Yeah. Great grandpa just yeah. came over and he brought all and his you on the stuff you from, into? from uh, no, no, all he, his he experiences. Hey. Now, how would you know which, like, is it up to each individual guy to figure out which destroyer they belong to? Like, how do you figure that out? No, you don't do that. Really what what you do is you take them board ship. Yeah. And they so tell you. Even if they're dead, hey, when you bring up the horse, they tell you where they're from, and you hold them. And what happens, like these were from an aircraft carrier. Yeah. So we have to take them to a mother aircraft carrier and cast the line over. This is a, uh, these are different. With a, a monkey fishing. I don't really know what that's. It's a ball of lead. And it's wrapped in rope. And you take First that and you sling it like down with down a baseball, down. and a little yeah. tiny yeah. line yeah. is on it. Yeah. And you throw that on another ship. You don't get too close because you'll crash. Okay, you might want to grab the baby. You grab that line, you pull it. Yeah. That line becomes a clothesline. That clothesline becomes a hauser. H O W S E R. Got this thick. Uh huh. And you finally get to the main line, which is about an oh, inch and a half thick. And you put it to the, we, excuse the language, but that's what it was called, to the nigger head. That's a, uh, you put it around there several times, mm -hmm. turn it on, and that makes the rope tight. Okay. So now you got the two ships going, and you take a wire basket, and you put the injured in the wire basket, and send him across with a rope. After they've done that, we sent, bring it back again, put the next guy in it. So you're putting them on the mother ship. Hmm. It's not their ship. Their ship is gone. Oh, gee, yeah. Have you ever dropped anyone? No, never, never. It's amazing that oh, it's, bad. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. Yeah. it's yeah. not so much dropping as it, the 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 waves between the two ships. You don't get too close because if you do, now you're the free. Line. A uh, splash comes up and it'll take it. Uh, so you leave an opening there, and fortunately the rope sags a little bit. Oh, the rope is big. Hmm. And uh, it's, a, it's an interesting thing, really. Uh, no. How? How many men on okay, your ship? 325. There you go. 325? She wanted to know. Yeah. Wow. It normally should be around 310. <laughs> Technically, on a destroyer of our type, okay. they had 325. All ships dog, dog, had dog. over complement in case somebody got killed. Okay. And when you went aboard, you learned how to do five different things because that's why you were there. Gotcha. You were filling for a day. Yeah. Wow. Thanks. Which boat were you on again, Tom? Paul yeah. Hamilton. Oh, okay. It's a Fletcher class <laughs> destroyer. Oh, you might see Fletcher class in there. What was special about it? What was special about it? What was its unique? Was anything unique yeah. to that class? Like what was that class? The Fletcher for? class lasted. Escorts? Uh, it wasn't an escort destroyer, it was a regular destroyer. You got a DD. And you got the B e, D E. Okay. The D E is the escort destroyer. It's a smaller one. Okay. Not that they didn't fight and they did a hell of a job. But mainly that's Coast Guard. Okay. The DD, Destroyer Division, they were in the thick of it all the time. And so, we, like, our title was, was just expendable. Right, so you were, you were protecting the bigger ships. Yeah. What was the biggest gun in your ship? Uh, six inch 38. <coughs> that uh, had a map on it about that big. It was, you could put 14 or 16 men on it sitting down like a straddle a horse. It had it was a big steel, like this room here, right. where, where your, uh, your powder canisters came up and it came up a chute. Yep. And they were about, oh, two and a half, three foot, and around six, six inches at least around. And you put the shell in first. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. You put the powder in first, you put the shell in behind it. Up ahead of it, and then you close it. After you close it, it's ready to go. When that powder goes off, that shell goes off. Yeah, and it, it was amazing. It probably gets pretty warm in that room, huh? Oh, normally, you can keep your doors open. <laughs> no, you can't. There's so much going on.
Where were you at when Midway went down? Midway? Midway. Battle at Midway. I, uh, I was on a different fleet. I wasn't there. As a matter of fact, it might have went down before I got out there. Oh, this is this is like a this is a complete that's, journal that's of everything. That's that tells you everything we did from the day the ship was uh, christened. Wow. Is it in chronological order? Yeah. Wow. We went. Our ship went down with the twigs, in the waves. The twigs was the five ninety one, which, when we had our papers to return home, they get sunk that night. Honest to God, lost. Two thirds of their crew, and uh, we were invited back to Okinawa, where a lady commander of a destroyer took them out to the exact quads, where the, the quadrant where they went down, and had a big burial about oh, 25 years after, you know, after we started our reunion. I, I thought it was I thought it was beautiful that the government did pay for. It. All paid for. So you, you were on this ship this whole time? Yeah. Never got off? Oh, no. Well, we, got, we had liberty and all that. I had liberty in Pearl Harbor. I had liberty in, the, uh, which I thought was the most beautiful place in the world. Uh, the locks. Panama. Panama City. I was there. I, I just was thoroughly amazed and what they could do from being here in the ocean and that you go in and then they flood it and they bring you up and you they flood that you go in they bring you up canal and now you're on a different Elevation. how the water don't spill down there is beyond me but you're in a different involved environment and then you're in panama city see years ago they did all this now electronically years ago which i did have pictures i don't know whatever happened to them they had oxen, and the men would put the ropes on the oxen and would pull the ship through the canal. But now all they do is they operate the locks with electricity and everything, and you can actually steam a little bit, or they can put a hawser on you and pull you right through. It's, uh, well, technology, the way it changes. There's a there's an initiation pushing a pee. This here? Yeah, with you got a wooden spoon in your mouth and it's a race. Who can get the pee over the finish line? <laughs> That's one of the things. I'm looking for something else. Why would that oh here it is here. This here's the grease gun where he wants to, the doctor <laughs> he's dressed as a doctor and he wants to give you medication. <laughs> And there ain't no way you don't know what the hell's in there. So when you won't do what they say, there's two guys standing by, and they have electronic pitchforks, and they hit you with a ah! You get the juice, and then you realize it's mustard, it's ketchup, it's mayonnaise, it's yeah. all good stuff to eat. But in that grease gun, it don't look good. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, and that's the haircut that they show you. They cut your hair any way they want. If they were good with me.
this is our current situation. I'm just watching Xander while he plays in the pool water and kind of wanders around. It's really nice because I actually have a baby gate that blocks off this whole section of the deck so he just has a lot of space and he can run around and like play in the kiddie pool and stuff. But yeah, we were up upstairs for the longest time listening to Pop and his stories. It's just like so crazy to have my great grandpa around and like be able to ask him questions of things that he went through about being on the ship and whatnot. Like he was only 19 and um, like the majority of those pictures and stuff were from when he was on the boat and whatnot and um, when he was 19. So he was telling some stories about like the games they played which you could see in some of the some of the pictures they looked extra goofy and so that was like part of the games that they played and um he was saying there was 325 people on that ship and it was just crazy to see the pictures and to see so many guys all grouped together like to just imagine having that many people and being on a ship like that it's just mind-blowing like just just like those types of situations seem like they are not real because I can't imagine going through something like that or seeing that. It's just, I don't know. So anyways, he has a lot of cool stories. We love hearing him every time he comes around. And um, I've wanted to document some of it to like have for the future and show my kids because it's, you know, like he can tell us tons of stories personally, but we won't remember those details. I especially won't remember everything. So anyways, cool story time with my great grandpa and my kids great great grandpa. Like this is a very rare and cool situation um, to have a great grandparent alive. It's just crazy. But anyways, to shift gears, we're hanging out outside now. It's crazy hot. It says it's only 86, but like it's just it's super humid and hot. Um so we're getting some water action now. And uh, I just, um, not too long ago, ordered Jaden's school books now for first grade, which blows my mind. But while I'm sitting here watching Xander, I'm kind of going online and trying to get some things together as far as like, like now that I ordered Jaden's school books, now it's kind of like coming up with some ideas of what I'll do with Cadence and Xander. And I'm kind of doing research along the lines of like maybe having sensory bins that I can pull out to keep Cadence busy or Z and or Xander busy. I do have like a preschool book that we'll probably do that I will do with Cadence I think this year. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of trying to wrap my mind around this being the first year that I will be homeschooling Jaden and Cadence will probably want to be involved in doing some type of schoolwork and then with ha like trying to keep Xander busy if we try to do school during times that he's awake. So, anywho, while I'm just here with Xander, kind of doing some brain work, trying to plan and figure out what I'll do and what I need to prep before it's time to get back home and we'll probably only have a short little while before it's, you know, we start school. I haven't quite figured out what date we'll start school. I know that kids are going back to school early, but really early in some states this year. And I haven't really nailed down when we'll start, but um, with homeschool, I guess that doesn't really matter. I can just I can just pick a date, so we'll see what I decide later on. But yeah, I'm trying to beat the heat right now. So while Xander plays in the kiddie pool and tries to drink the water, Jaden and Kiki, are out here with everybody. Let's see if I can see them. Looks like they're on the lily pad. Jaden's on the lily pad with Drew. I think Kiki is sitting on the float with Aunt Tracy.
<laughs> what is it? Is autumn in there? This is actually so nice and it makes swimming with salt water so much easier. Who's in there? Go? Oh man! Where'd it go? Get under there! <laughs> you see his little hand? Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he wants in. He wants in. Is he gonna fall no, in but the door? he's never been in the shower hey. before. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna fall if I open the door? Uh, maybe. Yes. We'll hold him back. And Joe, we'll guide him in. Water. Hold him back. No, she's not naked. I'm wearing the bathing suit. Here we go. Go ahead. You wanna go in? Oh. This way, buddy. This way. Come. Over here. It's a secret cove. Ooh. No. Oh. 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 Okay, bye. What is it? Walk right in it. What is it? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> bye, bye. I don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Let him have it. Zero, go. Go, Zero, go. Go get, get it. There. Oh, cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there he goes. Yay! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's warmer face. now, Joe. Right he didn't care. He looked mad at me. Oh, I cried on the mountain. He wants in. It's so nice. And now every once in a while he'll run in and run back out. Oh. Joe, you gotta do it. Come here. Come here. Yay! Get, get, get. Oh, I'm right. I won't hear over there, so. Oh my goodness. Oh, Jinker! Your right you excited? Oh, yeah. Tell them where we're going. We're going for a boardwalk to pizza. She's right about that. Also, we're going to be having... We're also going to the arcade or going on rides, maybe both, I don't know. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm hungry. What about you, Pop? You excited? Pop! Yeah, oh yeah. Excited. Instead of yeah. Oh yeah. You you want them? Yep. You little punchster. Are you excited? Yes. Oh good. Cause here we go.
Kiki, what did you get? Uh, so they got to split. They can split this and split that. Oh, okay. Kiki, show mommy what you got. Let me see. Hold it up. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Hello. You got Play-Doh. Ask Daddy. Watch the tram car, please. Watch the tram car, please. We're at the boardwalk. 